Hello everybody, Sean here. Haven't made a video in a while. Been storing on some content to put on my main channel. But, um, I've seen this question a couple times that Facebook and all that. What's a good professional lighting console that I can get into cheaply that has hardware dongles? What is your favorite? Well, my favorite console of all time is Grand M.A. 2. But, I found a new one that I'm starting to really like, and I can really recommend this, and it's really cheap to get into. No, this isn't Campsus with an Artnet dongle. This is something that you can buy on the store shelves that provides a professional level syntax and quality to it uh, that does not have a 20 millihertz refresh, or yeah, 20 um, hertz refresh rate. It's really fast refresh. It's really awesome. So, my favorite to recommend is Titan One. This is an Avalites product. So, what Titan One is? This is a two hundred and ninety-five dollar USB that has a five-pin DMX on it. Now, I know a lot of you like DJs and stuff are not going to have five-pin DMX. Well, I thought of that. Anytime you buy anything with five-pin, you know you need three-pin. I highly recommend buying a five male, three female. I pretty much keep this one with my Titan One. Now, one of the other reasons I like Titan One is its customizability. So if you buy like a Titan Mobile, you're stuck to 10 faders, 20 buttons, and you know the 10 of course over the faders. But with the Titan One, there's a program out called OZ MIDI. It's 99, it's about $99 or so. Uh, it's in Euros, so it'll be converted up so it could be anywhere from $99 to about $115. I ended up paying the, the latter, about $110 for the program. They give you a serial number and an easy to use licensing system. And they give you an awesome configurator that's built to basically look at all values of Titan Mobile. Or excuse me, Titan 1. And you can pair a, um, a MIDI pad with it. So, so one of the things I like to do is um, Whenever I set up Titan Ones or any PC-based lighting system, I like to find one that works well with MIDI. Well, guess what? Titan One with OZ MIDI works awesome with MIDI. In fact, my test subject has been this um, MIDI Plus. This is about this is about a sixty-dollar, uh, sixty-four button MIDI pad. So this right here, and it also has these knobs up here. I'm using these for my uh, for my first eight. Um, Fader playbacks. And you can map this any way you want to in the OZ MIDI. What I want to figure out how to do, and if anybody knows how to do this with OZ MIDI, I would like to see how to take multiples of these and gain 128 playbacks plus 16 faders. Not that I would ever need that, but that would be kind of cool. I also remember that the, pay the playbacks are pageable on uh, Titan Mobile. So, with that being said, um, you know, this for about 60. This uh, the Titan one for about two nine for two ninety five, and then you know these little these little things here only cost like four or five dollars. This is a, this is an Accu cable. Uh, if you're wondering what DMX cables I recommend, man, always Accu cable. I'm an Accu cable fanboy. So with this, uh, with this and a laptop, which come on, any idiot owns a laptop. So you know, pair that with your laptop with your. Um, with your laptop, uh, your mini pad, and you've got a sweet lighting rig for under, by the time, you know, I'm always considering that somebody already owns the laptop. Now, if we're doing a church install or something, we put a laptop with it. But now, I'm a little hard pressed to use uh, Avalites in a church. Um, for that one, I still recommend Martin MPC and an Intact dongle. Which, we'll get into my favorite consoles that have free art net later. But my favorite console that just has a straight, like a MIDI, or just a straight one universe and a MIDI. Um, I used to be a big fan of American DJ My DMX, but My DMX 3 sucks! And for the same price, you can have this, and you get a way more featured console than uh, My DMX 3. So, my opinion, go with the Ava Lights, it's amazing. Uh, the software is very intuitive. If you're looking to learn professional consoles, this is your cheap entry. One of the only bad things is this has to be licensed. So that was a little bit of a pain in the tail from um, um, Avolites to license this dongle. 
unfortunately it was no big deal. So, now one of the other things, you cannot launch Titan 1 without your dongle plugged in. If you're going to do like, let's say you're on a plane, you just want to do some quick programming, um, best option is um, to use uh, simulator. Make sure when you load uh, Titan 1 that you load the simulator. Without the simulator, you are stuck until you plug in the dongle. So, yeah, my favorite thing is Titan 1 all the way.